so the Paranormal Hunts team return to one of Swindon's hotspots for paranormal activity. The Central Community Centre, Railway Village and the Old Cricketers Pub has been long standing and is known for paranormal activity. Witnessed by this team on numerous occasions, we're going to take you through some of our best bits that we have captured again. Madam, can you speak again for me, please? You've spoken with us before. Did you hear that other one said hey? It sounded like it said hey after, didn't it? Yeah. If there's a lady here, can you come say hello? Is that what I just said? Is that what I just said? And repeated it. Yeah. Is that what he said? Yeah. That's good. I didn't, I didn't, I heard it, but I didn't understand what he said. Not very clear. Yeah. You change the sweep rate if, it, if it's easier. Just press the, the sweep rate buttons on each side. And it'll keep changing them, look, and keep this on 200 now, look. So you press it again, with 250, press that one again, it'll go to 250. So you can slow it down or speed it up. Huh? Did you have French then? That's weird. That is weird. It's that. Yes, temperature change on that. Is that your name? Jeff? Oh, yeah. Jeff. Yeah. Is there a gentleman called Jeff here? Can you see us in this building? It's a woman though, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. That was weird. Did you hear that come through there then? No, really? Did you hear nothing at all? That's weird. It's a woman's really voice, mate. Yeah, yeah, we can make out what it literally said. broke. It literally broke that signal. You didn't hear none of that. It was just a woman's voice. But you didn't hear it through that at all? Here we go. Did that come through yours then? What? That then? That's good. 
<laughs> After a positive start in the community centre through our spirit box session, the team and guests were now about to head out to the railway village and the old cricketers pub to see if they could continue with the communication that they had just received. We know from previous experiences and visits to this place that the railway village and the old cricketers pub has so much to offer. What else would the team uncover? I can't imagine it was very nice living here. I expect it was cold and cramped. With all yeah. yeah, cramped with all the people living here. We feel very sorry for you having to live like that. What's that? First, you got to waft of perfume. I'm oh, sure we've had that before, haven't we? In the cricketers. I can smell it. Actually. Oh yeah, it was in the quick yeah. cricketers, wasn't it? Can anyone else? You had it, didn't you, on top floor, didn't you? Can you smell it, Zena? No, it's gone. Yeah, but it was like a real fresh. It was not it, like a very flowery kind of. There's lots of lights dotted around. There's one on the bed. If you want to set that off. Father. Now I'm smelling perfume. Can you smell perfume? Is it like a flower? I can't smell yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. Like no, more fresher than that. Yeah, Vicky's downstairs, isn't she? Are you setting off REM pods, Vicky? No, we're just on the stairs. Where'd that come That's from? a REM pod. What's Did you hear that, Jay? Did it's you hear that bell there, though? Can you make the noise down Mate, there? that's yeah. fucking weird. That was the REM pod. That was yeah. twice it went off. The only REM pod we got is the one... On the, the table downstairs. On the table, and Mum's is in the kitchen. In the other room. Oh, yeah, in the kitchen. I did but leave she, one in the... if she didn't hear it, then how the fuck was there a REM pod? Mate, that was weird. Did everybody else hear that? Yeah, yeah. I heard it. Did you hear the REM pod going off? Did you even turn yeah. yours on? Yeah. <laughs> did I? I don't know. Well, down here. Sorry? It wasn't the REM pod down here. It must have been because there is no other REM pod in here. Let me just check the one in the kitchen because I don't Mate, know that's so weird. Like... We all Wait, definitely I heard that, it. right? Yeah, I heard it. I wonder if my camera picked that up. Did I turn it on? Squeeze. You could squeeze me. That's so squeeze weird. My hand. Yeah, I'm I heard that clear as day. Yeah, but it did sa it did sound like it was in this it didn't sound like it was the one down on the table because that would have been a lot louder. Really yeah, yeah, it was like it was in the distance. But it, it was definitely that. It was yeah. like Yeah, that. yeah but, but quieter than that. Because that was fucking weird, weird yeah. mate. No, I, I that, Jay, we both heard that as clear yeah, as day. Yeah, yeah. I did too, I swear. There was no denying it, we heard it. Trick. Yeah. Trick. Are you tricking us, Nancy? Are you tricking Mate, us? Mate, this is getting weird. I know I'm getting cold. Sorry, here it's like it went off really there. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Yeah. But it was like it was in the distance. Oh. So is that the father tricking us? Yeah. You playing yeah. tricks? I don't understand that. That's no, weird, isn't it? I That's baffled my brain. That is, I can't work that out. Mm. Now, I didn't react. I didn't like yeah. shockly react to it because I thought it was like you said because Vicky was downstairs. Is something going off again? No. No. Can you hear something now, Vicky? Yeah. It... This is getting weird, mate. What can you hear? And again? again? Yeah. Similar. That one was a bus. Was that it? a bus? Do you reckon it could have been that? Uh, oh, Do you reckon it could have been the brakes of the bus? Yeah. Uh, but it did not sound like a REM pod, didn't it? It does, yeah. doesn't it? Bloody buses. There we are. We debunked it. Yeah. Mm. There we go. I think it's a one. It, it did sound a little bit like a hole. Oh, yeah, it's a hole. swearing. What did that say? It said wanker. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't think it said wanker. I don't know. <laughs> That's weird. That's so weird. I 
go. I'm not sure though. Can you repeat that? Can you repeat what you just said? There's a gentleman in here with us. He's got lots of devices. He can talk to us through his device. Use the noise. Let's hear your voice. We've spoken to you before. We're back again. Thank you. Can you come back and do that again? For your face. You see a family here as well. Is that the sense of the Is there a little boy here? No. No. Up here. Up here. Mm -hmm. We'd like to see you up here. Can you come and sit in the table and touch these devices that we've played from there for you? Don't be afraid of us, just come and talk. We're not here to harm you. There is a lady here, can you come and speak as clear as you can? Can you say hello? Whoa! Oh, wow. <laughs> Did you hear that? Yeah, hello. Hello. Right, that was mental. Thank, thank you for that. Bad feeling. Right. We, heard, we heard your voice then. Can I ask who you are? What's your name? Periodical. Could you say your name for me? Nice and clear again. Thank you for the hello. Did you touch somebody in this room so we know you're here? You able to do that for us? Really? Real, really? Yes, really. We'd like you to do that. Can you touch somebody? Yes. Jack and that temperature's gone mental on that. Yeah. Is Jack here? Is your name Jack? Jack, did you live here? Any of them. You can touch any of those. There's a little ball on the table as well. Any of them would do. Can you do that? Last time we were here, you liked those little uh, cat balls. You were setting loads of them off all the time. Come and, come and touch that ball on the table if you can, please. The communication we had just received through our spirit box in the railway village was completely unbelievable. This isn't the first time that we've had this come through our spirit box. Every time we seem to enter this particular building, the spirit box seems to be the focus point of the communication. 
We believe that the new communication we've received here is quite intelligent. If you watch this back, you will see that the responses we get are to questions or something that one of us have said. Of course, we've not claimed for this to be foolproof of the paranormal. We're just documenting this because we find that this piece of evidence is quite interesting. It's something that we just can't explain. Literally, someone's just turned that straight down that, to zero. I didn't touch it. It just went off. Wow. Literally, hadn't touched it. Do you not like the light? Can you turn it off again? Stop. That's a bit weird, isn't it? Somebody walk past one of the windows then? Did somebody walk past one of these windows then? Because there was just a shadow that's just behind you two there. Like somebody walked across. I thought it was somebody I thought it was somebody out here. No, but it was it was it was looked like a figure, mate. It was like it was like somebody had walked across that way. And I thought it was somebody outside and walked past the window. Spirit, did you just show yourself as a shadow? Can you let us know if that was you? Have a walk back through the room with us. That's car light, like, that's it wasn't that. Stop. Stop. Again. That was weird. We're just trying to find out if there's more part of the stage after we die. from out there. Well, it definitely sounded like it. Sir, can we hear your voice again? For the final part of our investigation, we are now headed over to the Cricketers pub, where we continue to try and gather as much evidence as we possibly could. Working from three floors, we start at the bottom and work our way to the top floor. With our light failing and shadows being seen, we were hoping that we were going to document some great evidence to finish our night. Who runs this floor? Where do I go to get the women? How much do I have to pay? That was a woman. Hello. 
okay. Okay, you I think you said okay, I thought you said okay. And then we think it said shut up. What's your name? 